these two boxes of Rallyman are jam-packed with possibilities, and it's my intention to highlight all of the interesting things you can do with them. This is Shakedown. In today's Shakedown, we're going to explore a neat way to stage multiple rallies with the same set of tiles, so that you can leave Rallyman set up on your table and come back to it again and again, and still have challenges to face. Most of the country maps present in WRC4 are formed of large circuits, with multiple start and finish lines chopping them up into varying lengths of point-to-point -point stages. With some of these segments being run backwards, you have the feeling of a rally taking place in different parts of the local area, yet using the same roads here and there. Some countries aren't closed loops, but giant Y junctions, with stages branching out from a common fork in the road. It achieves much the same thing as a closed loop and should be recognisable to anyone who has looked at the DIRT rulebook as Rally No. 4 by Dwayne Karenko follows this formula. If you take the three stages and rotate them as necessary, you will find that junction in the middle easily enough. And if you have the RX expansion, you can even lay everything out onto your table at once, keeping it there to race as many stages in the sitting as you'd like. But this isn't the only idea I've seen Dwayne make use of, and it's this other idea that I'm going to focus on. Today's stage isn't a stage so much as it is a scene. We have a main road that gently snakes through the middle of the board, with two dirt tracks branching off from it. One that goes north through the forest, and one that heads south through the town. With just this setup, or something like it, we have the possibility of six different stages with one set of tiles. Run those stages in reverse, and we can double that to 12 stages before we have to repeat ourselves. So once we get this to the table, we're going to flip a few coins to determine where our start and finish lines are and take it from there. I'm going to be driving an R6, but I'm going to decide on my tyres once I've seen the stage we're doing. We might be on standard gravel tyres, or we might see ourselves switch out to asphalt or even soft tyre variants. I'm going to have no opponents today, but I do want to try out something for our rolling roadblock rules, and that is from Clayton Zilstra, who suggests adding a minus one speed limit token to the shortcuts based on the results of our initial setup roll. So, depending on which stage we're racing on, we may have a roadblock to overtake, and we might have some dirty corners to try and navigate to. There's nothing left for us to do, but find out. The first thing we need to do is determine our start and finish line. So, I'm going to use the round marker. To determine that, um, if it lands on the black side, we will start on asphalt. If it's landed on the white, so we will start on the dirt. Uh, do we start up here in the forest section, or do we start down there in town? Again, uh, black for the forest section, white for town. So we're going to start over here. Now you can uh, swap the physical start and finish line tiles around if you want, but I've got the uh, Joker gates from the RX expansion that I can use, so I will use those instead. Saves me from moving anything on the table. Um, our final coin toss is to work out whether we are on asphalt or dirt for the finish. We are on asphalt, and it's not the final um, coin toss because we need to know whether we're finishing over here or up here. So. Here for black, down there for white. We're finishing down here on the um, next door tile. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is uh, optional, but if you have the tokens from the Copilot uh, expansion, the chicane tokens, you can block off sections of the course so that you force players into a certain type of corner, and you can also block them off going the wrong way should you forget uh, what stage you're on. So I'm going to do that as well. In terms of stage makeup, it's ever so slightly dirt, I think. Um, yeah, so I probably want to start on the dirt tire of some kind. Can I get through the stage in six turns for my soft tires go the way of the dodo? I'm not sure, but it does look small enough to have a go and see. So I'm going to start this stage on the soft gravel tyres and we're going to see how they suit us. Uh, we also have a rolling roadblock to set up. So first of all we're going to determine its starting tile, which is going to be tile 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to start 
in the middle of town. And we are checking out the rule from Clayton. That is to say that for each hazard symbol we roll, the first shortcut on the route is gummed up with a minus one speed token. So that is right out of the gates. I'm just going to take it away. Uh, we're going to move the roadblock three places, push it a little bit further down the track. And then we, on our soft tires, are going to see how far we get through this dirt section. So I have six gears, two coast die available, uh, one brake as well, and we're going to have to take that shortcut in gear two. So um, I want to try and get as much speed as I can before then in order to safely break down. So I need to be in four. And for an extra coast die of movement, I will drift towards that uh, shortcut. That will allow me to get as many focus tokens as I can to uh, reduce my time at the end of the stage. So I'm gonna roll these five dice flat out. We have four hazard limit, thanks to our soft tires. We've got five uh, second tokens for doing that. That will move us down the track into this space here, ready for the shortcut on the next turn. And just like that, we're on to turn two. So we are going to flip our uh, soft tire token over to turn two. We still have four hazards. We're going to move our roadblock who prefers the inside lane. And then we're going to try and take this shortcut. So we're going to drop down to gear two. We're going to coast through the uh, sliding space, through the corner. That will allow us to come out in three. And if we come out towards the outside, we'll be able to end in fifth gear in the um, drift space of that corner. I'm going to roll these one by one. The shortcut breaking down to a two is successful. And we're going to take a shortcut token. That will be okay. We've got through unscathed. We've got a coast die, which is good. A second one, which is good. A three, which is good. A four, which is good. And a five, which is also good really should have gone flat out, especially because I'm on soft tires. And I've got a hazard limit of four. So that was a bit of a wasted turn and a lesson learnt. We're going to reduce the age of our tires down another turn. And we're going to crack on with turn three. The roadblock moves into this corner. We can either keep the speed up or we can try and go for distance and slow down um, towards that gear one corner. If I plan out um, this move then, I don't really want to be in fourth there. I want to be in third. And then we can drop down to one. And then we can come out in a coast in the uh, sliding space, and then a two in the next sliding space. Now this is one of my last opportunities to go flat out with this uh, four hazard limit, so I am going to risk doing that. And that was fine, we have two hazards, but we have generated seven seconds worth of focus. Slide through the corner, drift around, we end up in this space in gear two. One, two, three for the roadblock. And we are going to have to think what we want to do. Uh, we're going to start in first gear. We're going to coast through into second. Now we have a speed limit of one down in this space where the roadblock is. So we don't want to be too high when we get there, but we do want to get there because the sooner we can overtake our roadblock, the better. 
Um, we do have four hazards before we lose control, so I'm going to go flat out on these. Oh, before that happens, I'm not going to put my gear through there because we have no brakes on tarmac. So I'm going to uh, think a little harder about where we put those dice. I'm just going to end there, one space shorter. Glad I caught that before throwing all my dice into the dice tray. So that was four seconds worth of focus to put us in this space in gear two. Uh, one, two, three spaces of movement for the roadblock. And we are going to try and power ahead as soon as we can. So one, a couple of coasts. Um, unfortunately, the roadblock is blocking our corner. So we are going to instead get the most speed we can, which is only three because of the speed limit at this first corner. Of course, if the uh, chicane tokens weren't there, I perhaps could have gone up around the long way with a speed limit of three. That would have put me out in a different uh, speed. It would have been slightly longer to traverse that route, however. Um, you can explore for yourselves what differences that makes. Uh, I'm gonna roll these flat out. These are safe dice to roll. We have a hazard limit of three and we haven't met it. That's another four seconds. Time is not looking too good for this uh, stage, it has to be said, but first time I've done it, so it's the first time I can see what uh, strategies to use. Um, the roadblock is going to move. One, two, three. Stuck on a corner again, that's not good for us, where we can go through a shortcut to avoid that. Right, we are in third gear and I want the distance, so we're going to drop to second, uh, come out in third. I'm going to have to be in third to overtake uh, the roadblock, uh, but the speed, the um, shortcut, sorry, of speed six will allow that to happen, and then we're going to speed out into gear six from there. Uh, three hazards before we lose control. Uh, not really going to risk that. I don't want to spin out so close to the finish, uh, especially when the two is our first hazard. I'm going to risk rolling the three, which is our second hazard. Right. I could pay for a lot of these dice. I am hopeful that the coast die will not roll a hazard, which it didn't. I'm also hopeful for this second one which it didn't. Okay, so we're into the shortcut. I have to draw a shortcut token. Minus one speed limit. That's not going to affect either of us. Uh, it's going to cost six seconds to pay for all of those dice, uh, but to keep my time low, I am going to pay for all of those. One for the first, two for the second, and three for the third. That will put us over here in gear six ready for the finish and we're on to the next turn. Our soft tires are down to uh, two hazards. So it's a good job we're not going on to gravel. Uh, NPC is going to move three spaces. It's not going to affect us. Uh, we are just going to power over the line as best we can. Um, we're in gear six, so we could drop to five at some point. Uh, I've overtaken the roadblock, so I'm going to use the leader coast die, and I'm going to roll those flat out. If I crash, hopefully it's over the other side of the finish line. It was three hazards, so we can definitely engineer that to crash at the correct side of the finish line in gear six. So we come over with a bit of a cloud of dust. But we have made it through our first stage of this uh, scenario. Uh, of course, as we are all set up and ready to go, I could immediately get flipping the uh, round marker for a second stage. I welcome you to try and beat that record, and I look forward to seeing what kind of designs that you can come up with with your stages. Uh, they really can take on any form you like. Just throw in a couple of junction tiles and then whatever else you have at hand and see what you can come up with.